I can move and they can use my performance and then have the information there to, to um, digitally transform my character into this zombie-like creature. Hi, I'm Joe Beretta, and you're watching another bonus feature spotlight. Welcome to the world of RIPD, or the Rest in Peace Department to the Uninitiated, a gonzo pre-scene in the afterlife that is comprised of dead, yet devoted, police officers on a mission to rid the real world of Dedos, a breed of stubborn monsters disguised as humans who refuse to give up the ghost. As logic would follow, for an RIPD officer to swindle a Dedo, they must conduct their business as unassuming avatars, like a frail old man or a blonde bombshell. You know, not cops! As you can imagine, all of this amounts to a visual to a divorce. And who better to take you on a deep dive of the deados and avatars that walk among us than the cast and filmmakers who brought them to life. Or afterlife. That was a fun little play on words, wasn't it? Look, there's, I had them the whole time. These are from the movie. These are from the movie. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? They let me, they let me touch these. Whoa. Oh. Bad choice. An old Chinese guy? What about you? Well, I guess you win, Roy. One of the cool things about the RIPD is when they come to Earth, they have these avatars, these other images that the rest of us see them as. Nick's character, you come to find out, is an elderly Chinese man. Hey, sideburns. Try to focus. Tell us about the gold. I behave. I need to ask you a few questions involving a tandoori clay oven. I uh, have the fortune of having the persona of a wonderfully sexy lady. That's something I always, you know, sort of keep having to remind myself when I'm, I'm looking at Jeff and it's Jeff Bridges, and you know he's got this amazing look and stuff like that for the movie that I'm actually seeing this beautiful blonde. I know it's wrong, but the whole cowboy talk thing, it's kind of working for me. I play Roy's avatar. And tonight we did a stunt where I get hit by a bus. And so I basically pretended I was a bug. It was cool that they actually let me do it. So you're just trying to catch yourself I've got so many like straps and clips and I'm all hooked up. New feelings every day. Yeah. <laughs> but I have to say the most uncomfortable part is the push-up bra I'm wearing. So I'm all good. Ladies, we have it rough. So they don't have to be higher than this Okay. They'll give you a ready hand. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Your legs are gonna be burned. I'm already tired. <laughs> I'm like ready to hyperventilate. Three, two, one, action. Action. Two, one, action. 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 <laughs> That's cool. I have to say, it didn't even hurt. Relaxed body. Ah! We've got two people who could probably gain access to anywhere. The kind of like unassuming guy who kind of blends into the background, maybe no one notices him, or a supermodel who can walk to the door and get in any place. We're with the Department of Health. Is there a problem? Oh, I'm at the wiki. Lose respect. But you might be dead. A dead is somebody who has escaped judgment. What we always talk about is that the system has gotten overcrowded, so people can escape. I think it's the whole concept that these people have cheated death in a way and have sort of managed to get out of their death sentence or their afterlife. I am not dead. <laughs> I mean, that's laughable. Check my pulse, go ahead. All they want to do is avoid being found out. So they sit there in whatever place they are, trying to be cool, trying not to pop. I'm wearing this uh, gray outfit with a lot of dots on it for CG, and uh, it's the whole thing where Scanly turns into the monster. So they they use me and my image and my expressions, but then they'll go ahead and build this incredible monster. Oh yeah, that's a dead old. <laughs> Not a pop to know for sure. You can back this one, my treat. No, 
I'm not, I'm not going near that. <laughs> Have you ever done anything like this before? No. No. It's a great part. It's, it's what we call a gem. Once they pop, they can't go back. And popping is for us is when they reveal their monstrous form. When they pop, they look like these fiendish creatures. Once they die and their souls start to rot, they become kind of magnified versions of their worst traits. Big old mouth coming in. <laughs> Feller was a snitch in life. See Nick like that. Metaphorical. If you were like a thief, you're just going to become a little more. You're going to become fingers, more. It, yeah. You're going to become more twitchy, and you know, if you were, you know, some kind of Pulaski becomes this big, huge guy. Menace, in a, basically. I've done stuff on this film shoot that I never thought I would be doing. <laughs> So, what was I saying? Um, Devin's great. He's a, you know, he plays Pulaski. He's just sort of like a really low-rent Elvis. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Pulaski is hugely oversized in attitude, character, energy, and physical size as well. <laughs> designed the Dettos in a way that it was very clear that they couldn't live in ordinary society after they've been popped. They're a twisted version of human, or dead human, um, but they're not a corpse, they're not a zombie, they're not rotting. Uh. They have to be different enough from human that a trench coat and a good hat couldn't have them be incognito. So we've played around with changing silhouette and symmetry on them, so there's something definitely off about them. <laughs> There's a full range of a population of dedos out there. This is a very complex visual effects movie. We're lucky enough to have uh, a Rhythm and Hughes. They've worked with us extensively. These are two of our, uh, of our featured dedo characters for the movie. Uh, this is the maquette phase. These guys were sculpted based on designs. After this phase, we'll rescan these into the computer and apply the likeness of, the, of, our, uh, of our cast who are playing these two characters. All right, lock it up. Yeah! There's something I should tell you, but I think you should just try to keep an open mind mm -hmm. and not judge right away, okay? For part of the movie, I'm in a, in a uh, what we call mocap suit, mo motion capture. And this is a way that I can move and they can use my performance and then have the information there to, to um, digitally transform my character into this ghetto, you know, kind of zombie-like creature. <laughs> And also, I'm seven feet tall, so I had to wear these ridiculous boots that uh, really should only be worn by members of KISS. Kind of a high five moment. All we gotta do is fire up this bad boy. Jeff Bridges, Ryan Reynolds, Kevin Bacon, Mary Louise Parker, I'll stop there at the risk of bragging. But seriously, when your bench of talent runs that deep, you could point the camera anywhere and be entertained. Factor them all into a genre-bending showdown of comic thrills and chills, and you've got yourself popcorn entertainment unlike any other. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. You're the ball. I'm the mid. For bonus feature spotlight, I'm Joe Beretta. Thank you for watching Universal Pictures All Access. Get the most out of your movies. All right, you guys, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and if you want to see more, click on one of these other videos. And also, uh, the, the little subscribe button that's floating somewhere around here. I, you find it. You're an adult. <laughs>